welcome to this clinical skills video. Today we are going to be focusing on catheterization. The objectives of this video are to provide you with a brief overview and framework for performing the catheterization procedure following the UHL guidelines. We will also direct you to further resources which contain more detailed information. To aid you in your learning, we will be breaking this process down into four separate stages. Stage 1 involves obtaining consent from the patient. When you enter the patient environment, you must decontaminate your hands, introduce yourself and identify the patient using name, date of birth and hospital number. This should be done by checking the patient wristband against an official hospital document such as the patient's notes. Once you have done this, move on to gaining informed consent. In order to do this, you should provide the patient with a simple explanation of what you are going to do and why. You should also describe the potential risks, for example infection and expulsion, along with the benefits such as emptying the bladder or measuring urine output. After this, check the patient's understanding and ask if they are happy for you to continue. Once you have gained consent, you should make sure that you are safe to proceed by asking the patient about their relevant past medical history, such as urinary tract surgery. Allergies specific to this procedure include latex and previous reactions to the Instilogel local anaesthetic. It is important to inquire about potential contraindications to the procedure, for example urethral trauma or recent hematuria. More information on this section can be found in the workbook accompanying this video or in the UHL catheterization policy. Stage 2 requires you to gather the equipment for this procedure. The following items are needed for performing catheterization. A clean trolley, hand sanitizer gel, inco pad to protect the patient environment, an apron, two pairs of sterile gloves, appropriate size catheter which includes a sterile 10 milliliter syringe for inflating the catheter balloon post insertion, catheter care pathway form with green sticker for medical notes, prescribed instilogel, a pair of sterile forceps, a catheter pack, two sachets of normal saline for cleaning, two chlorhexidine wipes to clean the saline sachets, and a catheter drainage bag. The contents of the catheter pack itself are a sterile drape, J tray, sterile swabs, plastic galley pot, and cotton wool balls. Stage 3 involves performing the procedure itself. This video will demonstrate how to gather the equipment seen in stage 2 and correctly perform catheterization. Before you start, reconfirm patient ID, ensure that they have washed their genitals and that you and the patient are prepared. For the purposes of this video, we will start with a clean trolley. Our videos on venipuncture and cannulation demonstrate this cleaning process. Once you have cleaned your trolley, don an apron and decontaminate your hands using the WHO 7 stage hand washing technique. This must be used every time you decontaminate your hands. Take your catheter pack and check that it is in date. Open the pack onto the trolley without touching the contents. You must decontaminate your hands as you have been touching outer packaging. Carefully open up the sterile catheter pack. You should open the pack away from you first of all. Take your sterile forceps and organise the contents of the catheter pack, placing the cotton wool balls into the sterile pot. Discard the forceps into the sharps bin and decontaminate your hands. Take your first chlorhexidine wipe and check that it is in date. Also check the expiry date of the saline sachet. Clean the top of the normal saline packet and open, pouring the saline into the pot. Repeat this process for the second saline packet.
Open the outer packaging of the prescribed Insilagel and drop the syringe onto the sterile field. Then open the sterile gloves and drop the internal packet onto the sterile field. You must now decontaminate your hands as you have been touching outer packaging. Carefully open the sterile wrapping ensuring you do not touch the sterile field and put the gloves on. Open out the sterile drape. Ask your assistant to expose the patient. Note the presence of the inco pad to prevent soiling of the bed sheets. If the patient is able to, ask them to assume the lithotomy position. Take the sterile field from the catheter pack and place under the patient. It may be necessary to part the labia at this point using the sterile swabs. UHL policy utilises a clean hand, dirty hand technique as demonstrated here. Use your clean hand to pick up the sterile cotton wool balls and pass them to your dirty hand. This ensures that your sterile field is not contaminated. The dirty hand is the only hand that touches the genitalia. Use a minimum of five cotton wool balls cleaning from front to back, symmetrically from outside to in. Once you have finished cleaning the genitalia, take your gel and insert only six millilitres into the urethra. Dispose of the syringe into the sharps bin. Allow 5 minutes for the gel to take effect. Remove your gloves and decontaminate your hands. Take the selected catheter, ensuring you have the correct size. Check the expiry date and note the stickers on the catheter pack that must be saved for use in the notes later. You can use both a standard size and a female size catheter in women. In this video, we use a standard size catheter. Open the outer packaging and carefully drop the catheter and syringe onto the sterile field. Be very careful not to touch the sterile field with the non-sterile outer catheter packaging. Open the outer packaging of a pair of sterile gloves and drop the internal packet onto the sterile field. You must now decontaminate your hands. Carefully open the sterile wrapping, ensuring you do not touch the sterile field, and put the gloves on. Open the 10 ml syringe from its sterile packaging and leave this on your sterile field. Open the urinary catheter from its sterile packaging using the perforations to help you, exposing the catheter tip only. Hold this in the sterile J tray and place onto the bed between the patient's legs. Avoid touching the catheter directly using the packaging as a barrier. You may need to part the labia at this point. Insert the catheter along the urethra into the bladder. If there is any resistance, ask the patient to cough, which may ease insertion. Never force the catheter. Once the urine starts to flow, advance the catheter a further 5 cm. Take your 10 ml of sterile water from your sterile field and inflate the balloon, observing the patient for any signs of discomfort. Dispose the syringe into the sharps bin. 
Once the balloon is inflated, withdraw the catheter gently to ensure it is secure against the bladder neck. Connect the selected drainage bag. This can then be attached to the patient's leg or catheter stand. Remove all waste material. Cover up the patient and return to your trolley. Wrap up and dispose of any remaining clinical waste. Remove your gloves and apron and decontaminate your hands. Remember, always maintain privacy and dignity of the patient throughout this procedure. There are a large number of steps involved in catheterization. However, you should concentrate on remembering that the aim is to remain sterile at all times to reduce the risk of infection to the patient. Stage 4 covers the aftercare of your patient. Thank the patient, remove any remaining clinical waste and decontaminate your hands. You should give thorough aftercare advice to your patient, such as cleaning the catheter and maintaining personal hygiene. Notify them of potential problems that they may need to observe for, such as pain, discomfort, or signs of infection such as discharge and who to inform. Commence a catheter care pathway and document what you have done in the medical notes using the green sticker. You should also place the catheter package stickers in the medical notes and complete information requested on the package. Inform the patient's nursing and medical team and set a review date. This completes the female catheterization video. Accompanying this there is a workbook with additional information we hope you now feel more confident in performing catheterization and wish you the best of luck.